Now the first thing you're going to need to do before anything is to have the MetaMiner server software installed and to do so you can go to infolytic.com to the downloads page and install the Windows 32 or 64-bit server uh, component. Once you've done that you'll then want to go down here to the Mac OS MetaMiner client and download the DMG and once you do that you'll then want to go ahead open the DMG and then copy that file to your applications. Now that that's copied to my applications I can go ahead and start the MetaMiner client. As the MetaMiner client starts you'll notice that it's going to launch the connection manager and then begin connecting to the MetaMiner server. Okay. So it's connecting to MM Test 1260 and now it's loading up new content. Now, in case you didn't see what just happened there, if I go to the connection manager, you'll see that we have our MetaMiner server here. And this is the standard port that we use. And once we click Get CMS List, it will present to you the CMS that is currently connected via MetaMiner. Great. Now what we see is the MetaMiner client. Now, it really couldn't be any simpler than this. So to understand what instances we have in our environment, we very simply go to the Instances drop-down filter, and we click on Show Instances Only. When we do that, you can see here that under BI41 Public Folder, we've got a lot of different places that may have instances. So right off the bat, I can see that we've got eFashion1, Eastern Region US, and southern region. And each of these reports has instances underneath them. Okay. Now if I wanted to, I can reset all my filters and I can use a quick filter bar and I can type in the name of a report and it'll scan your 5,000, 10,000, maybe you might even have a million reports or objects in your CMS and it'll instantly go through all of that content and present to you anything that matches textually. So here I can see that Southern Region Reports Daily Summary has spun out uh, a number of instances. Okay, and if I wanted to now perhaps focus on only the failed instances, I can click on Failures, and here we can see that we've got a few failures. So each of these failures is telling me that um, in the tooltip what the specific reason for the failure was. Now if I wanted to, I can actually hop over to MetaQuery and fire a SQL statement against my metadata. So I can do name, error message from documents where is instance equal to true and error message is not null. And now I run this query and right off the bat you can see that we can more clearly see all of the results in my query window. And if we wanted to do something a little more interesting than that, we can comment out error message. And now we're seeing a whole bunch of different results here. And if I wanted to find a specific error message at this stage, I can actually go ahead and type the error message. And you'll see here that the instant filter very quickly filters out my result set only for the information that's interesting to me. So that concludes this quick tutorial of how to do scheduled instance analysis with MetaMiner, specifically using the Mac OS client, which we think you're going to have a lot of fun with as it's a refreshing departure from having to always use a Windows-based solution to uh, query and report against the uh, business objects enterprise infrastructure. Thanks and have fun.